What's going on guys? My name is Justin Fu and I'm joined here today by MJ and Jessica. And today we're gonna be taking shots with MJ and Justin. I told you guys to bring one object that means a lot for you and that has a lot of effect in your life. Uh, Justin, right. what did yeah. you bring? Yes, I brought something. Boom. Did you bring something too? I did. It's on me. It is? Yeah. Oh, see. Is it, is it going to be PG? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. It's your necklace. Right. My necklace. I thought you were going to make me look bad, take your shirt off or something. No, no. Uh, I'm gonna, I, What'd you bring? I brought... <laughs> I remember that. Do you remember this? I do. Alright, i got to show the audience. Check this out, guys. Got rice CD. When's the last time you guys actually saw a CD case? This is the real deal. Um, so, Jessica, the reason why I brought this and how it has significant in my life it, you know, I told you guys a little bit back in the day, my parents were both immigrants, so we really didn't have much. Mm -hmm. And mom was always working, so we were pretty much home by ourselves all the time. And uh, in order to like feed ourselves and go and pay for things that we wanted, we needed cash. So this is when I realized that I had like a hustler type of mentality back when I was just at a young age. I think I was six years old, my brother was um, nine years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we started doing was, after cassette tapes were a thing, during the CD phase, uh, there was a software online called LimeWire. I remember LimeWire. You remember LimeWire? Virus, Virus Central. Limewire. Yes, dude. <laughs> Virus, Virus Central. Um, but it was great because you go down there and you can download anything. You can find DVDs, movies, songs, and then just burn it. And so what we would do is, that was before like the huge internet phase, so we couldn't figure out what the top 40 songs were. We would just mm. choose songs that we like, right. and then we'd burn it onto a CD, and we called ourselves Got Rice. That was like our group name. Mm. And we like slang this out to like our friends, our family, we went to school with it, and at lunch we'd be around recess like, here you guys go, like you want this new music and stuff like that. So um, yeah, and we sell it off for like, I think like three bucks a pop. That was and, a lot back then. Yeah, it was a lot. Three One bucks question. Pop. Yeah. Who would choose the music that you did put on the Got Rice CD? My brother and I. Yeah. yeah, so we would just sit there and we'd be like, what song do you like? Yeah. Oh, I like this song from 50 Cent, so we'd go and we'd search 50 Cent and we'd download it. So, um, yeah, that was kind of, you know, the reason why I decided to bring this was one, the relationship with my brother and I, we're super close and yeah. we, we always have been. I'm mm. currently living with him now, this is the place that we stay at, where we're filming today. Um, so, him and I, I, I don't think I could have been where I am today without him. You know, he was kind of like a father figure in my life right. and his huge motivation um, in everything that I do. And then the second thing was kind of just making me realize that from the start, mm. I had to figure it out, you know? Like we had to figure it out on our own. There was no playbook for us. There was no blueprint. So, um, uh, yeah, that's that's my little token. You cool. said you said that your brother's like a father figure? Too. Yeah. Did you grow with a, with a dad? I didn't, no. Oh. Yeah, I didn't. And that's something I don't talk about often, but uh, I don't mind talking about it. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I don't mind talking I, about I'd it. I'd be interested to hear about it, but I don't know. No, yeah, it's cool. It's uh, it's definitely he wasn't in my life for majority of my life. Hmm. Uh, since I was like six years old, seven years old, he was like out. Yeah. Um, I have a relationship with him now. Yeah. Uh, I respect the guy. He's my yeah. dad. Uh, he lives uh, nearby, so I still try to see him often. But in the growth stages of my life, where I think it's a pivotal time where you need guidance, leadership, whatever that is, from a non-female figure like mom. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's a pivotal role, and my brother kind of right. stepped in and played that role because he was the older brother, I'm the youngest sibling. So um, yeah, it was it was nice to have that balance and between him, my brother, and my yeah. grandpa. Yeah. I think those two are my biggest role model. Mm -hmm. And then we can ramble about mom all day, but she's a boss. My mom's yeah. an entrepreneur too. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, that's me. That's good, dude. Thanks, man. What did uh, that's you? Yeah. What? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You guys cried yet? I <laughs> <laughs> cried, please. That's beautiful. And I believe that there are so many amazing mothers mm -hmm. on here. Such warriors, strong women. And they just make our life more beautiful. 
absolutely. I absolutely agree with that. We gotta talk about our moms more another time. Yeah, yeah, we should. Even just women empowerment, I think in the workforce, like I've I've been blessed enough to be surrounded by like every manager I've had or any like really? vice president I've had have all been female. Really? Coincidentally. Mm -hmm. Like throughout my entire career, whether I was in retail or whatever else. <laughs> so it's like it's weird to see my leadership skills kind of stem from two things, like my ethnic yeah. background and yeah. then like who I was trained by. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just a side note, but yeah, kind of mm -hmm. crazy. Anyways, what did you bring? Because now I want to know more. I want to know what you got. Yeah, so I brought this line. Oh, dang. Let me see this. Because it's sick. Can I touch it? Yeah. Even though I was already touching it, so I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I brought this because uh, I like jewelry. Nice, cool. Anyway, so the next question is, uh, <laughs> what? why did you bring it? I know it has something, I know it has something to do. Yeah, so, um, this is actually my grandpa's. Uh, mm. My grandpa wasn't the best man. Um, mm. So, before he passed away, he gave uh, my mother, who was his favorite child of 12, this line and, and asked her to give it to her favorite son, right? Which was me, because nice. I was one of one, right? <laughs> limited edition. Um, but for me, it symbolizes uh, kind of the man that I want to be. Uh, he did many things that you know, not the biggest fan of, and um, when I, you know, continue my my journey as a man, um, there are things that I want to, you know, portray to the world and portray to my family. So. Uh, it's kind of a, serves as a reminder um, to like who I want to become and who I am currently. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a cool story. My mom like strapped it onto her, her rib cage when she escaped by boat. Wow, yeah. no way. So it also symbolizes like my mom's strength and yeah. her willpower. So she like snuck it out. Yeah, she tried four times and got caught three. Wow. Yeah. And is that something that you wear like every day or is it more so you just brought it for this occasion and it's like kept somewhere safe on other days? Uh, I, I try to wear it every day unless Jess wants to wear it. Nice. I love it. Yeah. And it means so much to me too because it's so, so special and so that they were for him. So. Yeah. It's a beautiful piece of jewelry and the story is even, even cooler. So yeah. that's awesome. Thanks for sharing, man. Yeah. Give me your two most important tips that you give to starting entrepreneurs that don't have a lot of start capital mm -hmm. on what they could do now with the two items that they do have, which is time enough. For an organization to function properly, mm -hmm. you need to have category experts on your team, right? Mm -hmm. Trust everyone and what they do really, really well. Right. And a lot of times when people look at digital marketing, they're like, oh my gosh, this is a behemoth. Like, where do I start? Yeah. Like, I start with a personal website because that's your main landing page, right? That's your brand, that's your main business, that's what people see at the end of the day. Clients, mm -hmm. and when we talk about like revenue conversion, like what's making money on the website, not taking notes.